got the desire, he's got the toughness, and he's got the enthusiasm, he's got the experience. 48 bouts for 41 wins, 28 of those have been by knockout. He will give us a show tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your very own, Lester Ellis. <laughs> Finally, the time has come. In here, in the blue corner, weighing in at 75.8 kilos of pure pugilistic power, residing and representing Redfern City, boasting a professional record of 13 wins and one loss. He is the current PABA Super Middleweight Champion, standing at number 10 and soon to be champion of this world. The judges for this bout, Ignatius Missalides, Anika Williams, and Andrew Campbell, and the man in the middle with these two, your referee, Malcolm Bulma. At times it can be overbearing, but when the talk is done, Anthony Mundine gets the job done more times than not. Welcome to Fendering, gentlemen. Let's have a good, clean fight. Good luck to both your fighters. May the best man win. Shake hands now. Come on, fighting at the bell. Good luck. Well, the hype's over, mate. On July 3 of 2000, Anthony Mundy knocked out Gerard Zoss from New Zealand in his professional debut. Fifteen fights later, he stands face to face with a former world champion. He has more than the Vodafone Arena behind him tonight. He has a state behind him, Lester Ellis. The first two rounds are seen as the key to Ellis. Showtime! Ring savvy Ellis is not going to give Anthony Mundine one inch here. He will stand centre ring and ask him to bring it on. Lester has to be in his face early. Lester getting his first taste of the speed of Anthony Mundine. You can watch all the videotapes you like. It counts for nothing when you step inside the squared circle. He picked that jab up well, Lester. The fast one that chopped through, and he picked it up well, Lester. Yeah, Lester doing nice. Thank you. Some ice inside the ring, it seemed. Lester slipped on that. The first offensive move goes to the Ellis camp. Lester will be looking for his right hand. That's his, he, he's powerful with both hands, but he'll be looking for the right hand. If he hasn't thrown one yet, that's what he's banking on, I can tell you. Is he that right hand and also that left grip, Barry? Yeah, he's a vicious, a vicious puncher with a left grip. They're saying when your man fall to the knees, the left wrist is left wrist. Almost half distance in this is the opening round. The featured main event. Anthony Martin claiming of the use of the head from Lester Ellis. I think he claimed right low actually. Did he? Yeah. In Lester Ellis's red career. It is all in one in use, whatever you can, Barry. And Lester yeah. Ellis Lester Ellis has to live by that motto tonight. Well I'm sure I'm sure he, he learned a few of those tricks from uh, the man sitting to my left, Barry Michaels. Well, you know. I give myself a fair bit of credit, you know, for helping make the left of the fire he was for the, the years. I'm 
to lose about 18. You know, I used to take him through punches every week. He was hurt, man. He was hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. This is round number one. He's There's gone. 50 seconds remaining. Mundine pulled off him then. He could have finished that fight then, I promise you. There's left a cut over to the left eye of Lester Ellis, who looks in a whole lot of trouble with 40 seconds remaining. He was shaken badly then, Lester, I'm telling you. Well, let me tell you, Anthony Munning could have gone in there and finished this guy off. Hopefully that does not come back to haunt him. He, ca he carried him there. He did, I promise you. He pulled back. You can see Ant Ellis is down. He's down. It's all over, mate. 25 seconds left. Forget it. Ellis is down. He's receiving a count. We have 20 seconds remaining in round number one. He's tasted the power of Anthony Mundine. He doesn't like the taste either. Ten seconds to go. Chuck's going to, honestly, it could be over. It really could be over this round, but it's going to go beyond the first round. Like He's going to go beyond the first round. Less of learning from the left eye. You saw Anthony Mundine. As soon as Ellis was hurt, he took his foot off the gas. He yeah. did. He backed off. He backed he, off. He, off he, I mean, he's he... trying to give the crowd a show. You know what, Andy? This is what I dreaded, mate. Yep. I figured this, this would be like this. Look, Lester was looking good until he got hit. Well, mate, what I said before, you know, in the intro before, about resistance. Sorry? How do you feel, Lester? Sorry? Hey, can you remember the fight? Yeah, no getting asked if he remembers the fight from Dr. Peter Lewis, and that was the shot that cut and dazed Ellis from Anthony Mundine. And look, Mundine steps off the gas. He knows Ellis is in a world of hurt. Second down, round two. And Ellis stands up. He will greet the bell for round number two. Hang on, hang on. Will he last the three-minute stanza? Look, Anthony Mundine, too big, too strong, by, you know, just from that first round. Look, if, if if this fight goes much longer, it's because Chock's going to let it, I reckon. Remember, remember before the fight we were talking about resistance. When your resistance goes, your resistance goes and it yes. doesn't get better. Well, it's something you can't get back, that's for sure. Mundine, with the confidence we've become accustomed to seeing him exhibit. Oh, look, oh, beautiful down below, yeah. finding a mark there, almost at will already. It took one punch and one punch only from Anthony Mundine to turn this fight full circle. And he didn't even load it up. No. Well, that's the thing. Well, if Anthony Mundine, he, he still doesn't want to take chances because no. Lester does have power. He does. Anything can happen. I spoke about Lester being a world champion. That was a junior lightweight level. You look at these two men and physically, there are very few similarities, Barry. Yeah, look, honestly, it, up to about world away, Lester was world class. I mean, we're talking about 10 and a half stone to now we're talking 12 stone. It's a big difference. A very big difference. Mundina with a little uppercut, giving Ellis another taste. What he has to offer and a beautiful straight right from the man. Defeated once in his professional career. That was by German Spenotti for the title in Dortmund of last year. Yeah, Lester Ellis coming in with a nice, you know, some, some good shots there. He's having a go, the master blaster. And well, look, trying to get him up there and let him fly. A fight, a down and out fight will suit Ellis. Look, no matter what happens, Lester Ellis is still in this fight because he's got a puncher's chance. I don't care, look, yeah, Anthony Mundine had left Ellis in a whole heap of trouble in that first round. He could have probably taken him out. Oh, nice shot. Found a way through the defences of Lester Ellis. Look, but if I used Lester Ellis, Ellis would, wouldn't it come back to horn shot if, if, if uh, you know, Lester land the big one and turn the fight around? Wouldn't it come back to horn in that first round? But Lester's come back well in the second, quite often, and I've said this before on, on a lot of our bats to the viewers. You can be heard in the first round. Yeah, the nervous system gets shocked, and then the same shot in the, in the next... Does nothing. No, does nothing. Lester was shaken in the first round for sure. He was hurt. But he came back well in his second round. Looking a lot better here. We were calling it curtains after a couple of seconds of round number two with ten remaining. We're going to see round number three. Nice handy work there from Mundine, doubling up with the left hand. Left hook, left hook downstairs. 
That seemed to have stunned Ellis a little bit. Mundine, they... Round number two, not as dominant as perhaps he would have liked, but he certainly dictated the tempo and the flow of the fight. You said about Lester in that opening round that the punch wasn't loaded up. It wasn't a big punch from Anthony Mundine. Lester Ellis has, has been hit harder than that before and stood up. Well, as I said before the fight too, I mean, he used to have a, one of the greatest chins left up until the Calvin Grove fight. And, you know, I can't see that his resistance is going to get better from there on. Yep. Let's just go keep those gloves up, keep that pressure on. Keep, keep Anthony Mundine backed up. Keep his head down, mate. And, yeah. yeah, keep him backed up. Anthony Mundine looking for that super quick right uppercut that has found success on so many occasions. That's what you can't allow Anthony Mundine to do. Have space. Oh, Mundine was hit in. Good left hook. Good left hook. Tell you what, he, he took it well though. He did take it very well, Anthony Mundine. And that really, Barry Michael having covered Anthony's last couple of fights, that's the first time he's been hit of any punch with substance since Sven Otti yeah, knocked him out in Germany. I reckon you're right, it was a pearl of a left hook. Yeah. I hope we caught that one in slow enough. I'd like yeah. to have a look at that, it was a good left hook. Good clean shot. Anthony Mundine. He steps it up, he a pace a little bit, you can see a little more urgency in his game, Troy. Yeah. If he did take the foot off the pedal in round number one, it is yeah. back on. He's Let's definitely front. back on it, that's for sure. Trying that over the hand right, over the jab, that's the one he's, that's, that's where he's the most of the power left. <laughs> Ellis now coming under him. Mundine's right, he's against the ropes, Ellis is ducking and weaving and saying, bring it on. He's bleeding from beneath the eye now. Lester, he's cut above the eye, bleeding from beneath the eye. Oh, Lester bent down to... Yeah, he lifts up his trunks and Mundine jumps. Yeah, but Lester's still in there firing shots back. He missed with a wicked left hook in close. Yeah, though for a minute remaining and this is the third round and there's a bit of trash talking going on too in centre ring. Anthony Mundine hit with a good left hand from the former world champion. That's where Lester needs to be in Anthony Mundine's face, mate. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's down. down. Going to Temple shot. You've got a minute left. The Keith Ellis has over. pulled it over. It's over. The dream is over for Lester Ellis and Anthony Mundine rejoices. Why are the crowd booing? What they want to see Lester to get you know, badly hurt up there. That was on top of the head, the back of the head. There's not much you can do about that. And now, the scrum inside the ring is followers and supporters and staff try to jump in to commiserate with Lester and to congratulate with Anthony and again it was a it was a temple shot Barry Michael yeah, did the damage on yeah. both occasions the crowd are booing someone just chucked up down here for Christ's sake the crowd's booing but what do they want to see they want to see someone get killed up there or what you know I mean, look, Les Ellis was doing his best, and then he, was, he got caught with three or four. And there's inside the ring. What's going to happen here? We didn't hear correct. Keep your head down, mate. Pierre Karam is inside the ring. Oh, a boxer of Sambo to Karam has spent a lot of the time in the US. And Karam wants a little bit of the action. There are ways of doing it, and there are ways not to do it, and I think Pierre Karam has gone the wrong way about it. There is a line a mile long that wants to get it on with Anthony Mundine. This for us is Major Keith Ellis jumping into the ring. Wasn't stopped by the referee, was stopped by his corner jumping into the ring, so please keep that in mind. You can hear the boos echoing throughout the Vodafone Arena here. They are not a happy camp. Security surrounds the wing ring. Lester Ellis is on his feet. Anthony Mundine. Another reasonably easy night at the office for the man. He was hit with a beautiful left hand. But his right hand proved too much for that man. You know, I'm glad Keith stopped it. I really am glad Keith stopped it then because it was going to be one-way traffic. Pierre Karam now being escorted out of the arena by security. Yeah, look, no matter what happens inside the ring, you really don't need to get that sort of stuff. Let's head into the ring with Bill Fisher, who has Keith Ellis with him. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Ellis is manager Keith. Keith is getting a little bit nasty here at the moment. Fans feel that the, the ref stopped the fight, but you dropped in, you, you thought Lester had had enough. 
Oh, well, you know, I've got to take him home. You're better off stopping at, you know, 50 punches too early to one too late. You know, he went out of go. All you ass wipes are not taking the punches. So it's all right for you to boo. Come out of a jump up here, it's not easy. He's got, I've got to take him home. He's done his best. As far as I can see, you can all go and get... Hey. But like, Keith, 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 Keith. He did show a lot of nerve. He took a tough punch early in that first round. He was able to come back and, and showed a lot of courage to come back and stay for another couple. I think, I think, uh, calm down, guys. You know, we've had a good fight now. Come on, calm down. At least he jumped in. He had a dip. That's all you can do. Fair enough. Lester, how do you feel now? Do you feel a bit better now? Well, I'm disappointed. He caught with a couple of good shots. He's a fast fighter. I'm well prepared to go on. I think I could have gone a lot harder fight than that. The key stop of the fight, I mean, he's my brother, what can I do? I can't scream and carry on. The damage is done, the fight was stopped. I'm undone. He's, got a, he's a good puncher for Super Midway. I was enjoying the fight, he's cooked a couple of sharp shots. But I have, I have come back from the, from, the, from the dead before. I think a few more rounds, if I wore him out a bit more, a couple more rounds, I could have came on a bit stronger. Like I said to Keith, you showed a lot of courage here. You took a tough punch there midway through that first round. But you came back at it, you came back for another couple, you felt that you could have gone. Did you want to keep going? I want to keep going. I thought I was enjoying the fight. He, he's a fast reflex fight. He put me a couple of big shots. And maybe the off copy shots before. And, and I could have kept going. 100 percent Great courage to come out of retirement and fight tonight. Congratulations on the effort, Lester. Thank you very much. And um, Anthony, he did he did give me a chance, he gave me a shot. I thought thank him for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Lester Ellis, always a champion. Some pretty ordinary scenes here at the Vodafone Arena as the crowd shows their disapproval of what happened. But Keith Ellis did sum it up in a very strange way of words. But it's a lot tougher inside the ring than it is outside. Easy to criticise from here. Oh, look, most definitely. Everyone's a champion outside the ring. I mean, these guys are the ones in there doing it. And, uh, you know, Lester was hurt. OK, Lester was hurt. And the man that hurt him is standing by with Billy Fisher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man that won tonight showed a lot of tough punches out there. You do, you really put on a class display tonight, Anthony. Yeah, I just, first day I just want to say, let me tell you. Let me tell you. No. It's all right. Listen, I just want to say, Lester was a, one of my heroes as a kid. I just really appreciate him, you know, fighting me tonight. Um, I, you know, a lot of fighters dodged him in their day. And I just wanted to get the opportunity to say that, you know, I was in there with a legend tonight. Um, to the Melbourne public, I really want to thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the night. I want to come back here again to fight. Um, all I can say, firstly, I want to thank God. I want to thank Alan Kim, Mr. Kim in Korea. A um, couple of my boys, Tarek Salak, Tony Sheen down here in Melbourne, and Eddie Maguire and the boys. But I just, you know, I really felt good tonight, and I was a better man. Coming down here to fight Lester Ellis, you're always going to be the underdog as far as the fans are concerned. He's a hero down here, they love him, you just saw the way they reacted to him when he came in. Did you really expect a different type of reception than you got here tonight? Um, I knew it was going to be a little bit hostile and probably against me, but you know, that's his hometown, so he deserves that. In his career, what he has achieved, he deserved every um, clap and every admiration that the fans gave him here tonight. You nearly had him down in that first round. It looked pretty clear that you refrained from going on with it. Was that the situation? I mean, I caught him with a good shot. Maybe, you know, I just wanted to take my time and be patient tonight because, to be honest, he, had, he has got a deadly punch. You know, even, even though um, a lot of people, critics, write him off, his punch was still strong tonight. And he got me with a couple, and I really had to keep my hands up and, and box properly. Anthony, there hasn't been a lot of talk about what happens after this from you now. So can you tell us now, where do you go to now? Who's next? There's a lot of talk about who you should be fighting. Well, it seems like, you know, everyone wants to fight me these days. But, I mean... I just, who do you want to fight? I just want to get the world title. So anything that's going to help my progression to get there, that's what I want to do. And I'll probably go for another regional title after this and eventually come back to Melbourne and, and try and attempt for my second world title. Is that why you wanted this one to keep going tonight, to prove to the powers to be that you are a distance fighter, you can mix it for a long time, and that, why, that is the way it's going to give you some credibility to take on some more recognised fighters, some fighters who will help you get that world title? Yeah, well, listen, you know, coming into a fight, I knew that Lester Ellis was going to give me um, more experience. This guy's a seasoned, a seasoned veteran, and he knows how to fight, and he, he knows all the tricks of the trade. He's, 
Thank you very much. He gave me a chance. Thank you very much. Thanks, he knows all the tricks of the trade, and he really gave me um, a tough time early in the fight. I had to adjust to, you know, adopt to his style. And uh, you know, I'm just happy with my performance tonight. So, have you got someone in mind, though, Anthony? Is there someone you want to fight next? There's got to be someone you want to fight who you could turn around and say, "Hey, this is good enough now for a world title." No, well, you know, like I said, what's going to progress me to get my world title? I'm ranked number 10 in the world at the moment. So, by the end of the year, I want to be ranked number one. And that's my goal, and then I can, the year after, I can go for the title. Danny Green? Well, I'd love to fight him, you know. I'd love to fight all them guys, but... Ricky Thornbury? Yeah, it, it might come off, you know. We're going to sit down and talk about it, and if it's, the fans want something, then we can talk about it. Just one quick question. Took a while for you two to come out tonight. With a bit of uh, gamesmanship at the back? I mean, no, well, I think Lester wanted to come in um, second, or I don't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I was just in the dressing sheds, warming up, and I was just trying to... You know, get ready for the fight and all this commotion and stuff was going on. I didn't know what to think. I just wanted to come out and get ready for, for a good contest. Anthony, thanks a lot for tonight. Thanks for putting on a good show. All the best for the future. Thank you. And, you know, I, I probably could understand on the fans' point of view. Um, you know, but Keith did the best thing for his brother. And, you know, like I said, hopefully I can come back in down here and, and win a world title in Melbourne. Because, to be honest, I really um, enjoyed fighting here tonight and the crowd was great. So, Ladies and gentlemen. He's a champion, Anthony, the man, Monday.